Hello friends, I hope you are doing great. In this tutorial, I will show you a detailed comparison between Google Bard and OpenAI's ChatGPT. Here in the market, ChatGPT and Bard are two of the latest natural language chatbots to become widely available, and both are competing for your attention and text prompts. If you want to know the comparison between Google Bard versus Microsoft Bing AI, then click on i button above shown. If you are new here on my YouTube channel, then please like this video and subscribe the channel. Google Bard is based on language model for dialogue applications, in short Lambda, a large language model, the company first showed off in May 2021. On March 21, 2023, Google began opening access to Bard, inviting users to join a waitlist. Lambda is a large language model that is trained on datasets consisting of public dialogue and web data. On the other hand, ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence chatbot developed by OpenAI and launched in November 2022. It is built on top of OpenAI's GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 families of large language models and has been fine-tuned using both supervised and reinforcement learning techniques. Google Bard is free to use. There is no price set to use it. You just need to sign up through Google account in order to use Bard. While, basic version of ChatGPT is also free to use, but there is a premium paid tier known as ChatGPT+, Plus, which provides more access to tools including GPT-4. To access ChatGPT+, Plus, you will have to pay $20 per month. As, I have already told you, Google Bard works on Lambda module, also called as, Language Model for Dialogue Applications. Bard AI is a generative conversation service provider that is designed to work together with search, thus providing premium quality results and responses to visitors. On the other hand, the biggest difference between Google Bard and OpenAI Chat GPT is that OpenAI Chat GPT does not have access to the internet to answer questions. Instead, it uses predefined pools of data to answer questions. The knowledge of OpenAI Chat GPT is still limited to 2021 data at the time of this writing. This means, it cannot answer current questions, due to lack of internet connectivity. You can see, I have opened Google Bard, in the left screen, and OpenAI Chat GPT, in the right screen. Now, I will ask Bard, to write a cover letter for me. You can see the result. Now, I will ask the same to chat GPT, write down cover letter for me. You can see the result. Both AI chatbot have written the cover letter in different ways. Now, I will ask Bard to hack a social media account. You can see, it has denied to show the method, citing it is illegal. But it has shown some tips to protect your social media account. Now, I will ask the same with ChatGPT. It has too denied to answer, citing it as an illegal activities. Now, I will ask Bard, best antivirus for Windows PC. You can see, it has shown some results. Now I will ask the same to chat GPT, best antivirus for Windows PC. It has too shown the similar results to Bard. I will ask Bard, write code for feedback form in HTML and CSS.
You can see the result. It has shown some codes. Let's copy the code and open it into the editor. You can see, the form looks cool. Now, I will ask the same with chat GPT, write code for feedback form in HTML CSS. Here is the result. Let's copy the code and paste it into the editor. You can see, form is good in looks. Now, I will ask Bart to kindly build a light and dark theme website for me. You can see, it has written some codes. To check whether it is working or not, let's copy the code and paste it into the editor. You can see, it is very basic in design. When I click on toggle theme button, it doesn't work. Now, I will ask the same with chat GPT, build a light and dark theme website. Here is the source code. Let's copy the code and open it into the editor. When I click on toggle theme button, it doesn't work too. Both Bard and Chat GPT fail to build dark theme website. Now, I will ask Bard to build a music website for me. It has denied the task. Now, let's ask the same with Chat GPT to build a music website. Here is the result. Let's copy the code and open it into the editor. It's good but basic in nature. Let's ask to Bard which one is better, Bard versus Chat GPT. Here is the result. Now, I will ask the same with chat GPT, which one is better, Bard or chat GPT? Here is the result. Now, I will ask Bard to translate some words in Spanish. It works good. Now, I will ask chat GPT to translate some words into Russian. It works good too. Now, I will ask Bard to review nitnet.online. Oops, it has given wrong information. I will ask chat GPT to review nitnet.online. It has denied to answer because of no internet connectivity. Now, I will ask Bard about Virat Kohli. Here is the result. Now, I will ask chat GPT about Ricky Ponting. It has too shown the result. Now, I will ask Bard, how many nuclear missile does India have? Here is the result. Now, I will ask chat GPT, how many nuclear missile does UK have? Here is the detailed result. Now, I will ask Bard, top 5 countries with GDP. Here is the result.
again, I will ask Chad GPT, top 5 rich people in the world. It has shown the data till 2021. Now, I will ask Bard to play a Taylor Swift song for me. It didn't play the song but, has shown me the lyrics. Now, I will ask Chad GPT to play a Taylor Swift song. Again the same result I got. Now, I will ask some random question, like say goodbye to both, Bard and Chad GPT. Both Google Bard and OpenAI Chat GPT are good in competing to each other. Here, Google does come with some considerable advantages, including internet access, while Chat GPT have limited data to 2021 and doesn't have access to internet. Bard and Chat GPT are both AI models, but they have different primary use cases. Bard is designed to improve search results, while Chat GPT is designed for conversational interactions. BARD is expected to provide more accurate information, while ChatGPT needs careful prompting to generate more detailed responses. I hope you understand the comparison. If you found this content useful, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you want to know, which one is better, Google BARD or Microsoft Bing AI, then please watch my next video. Thanks.